We enjoy the beauty of Christmas. The music, the candles, the greenery, the flowers, the symbols of the manger, and the star. But these are not merely decorations. This is a place of worship and adoration. From the warmth of the candles to the graceful charm of the nativity, from the crimson flowers to the evergreen branches, we pray that all these things will draw us into the story of Christmas and help us remember the power, the simplicity, and the meaning of the birth of Christ. So, let us open our eyes to the beauty of Christmas as we worship the beautiful child who is Christ the Lord. Who that child will become. 
as we grace, as we gaze on the image of the Holy Child, let's pause to reflect on who this child was and all he would become.
the natural beauty of the branches, let us know that it is Christmas. But as believers, we can appreciate the beauty on a deeper level. We find extra joy in the evergreens, for they remind us of the eternal life we find through Christ. We often quote John 3.16, but the verse does not does say it all, doesn't it? So let's say it together now. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Some trees thrive in the summer, covered in green. In the chill of the autumn, however, their leaves change and fade, finally falling to the ground. But the evergreen tree wears its deep, beautiful green continuously from season to season. And so it is with us. We are born, we grow and mature, we thrive with strength and vitality. Then our strength begins to fade, the body weakens, and we pass away. But through the power of faith, though the body dies, our souls will thrive in the new life, the eternal life in Christ.
We bring Christmas flowers to adorn our lives each year at this time. The deep crimson red fills the room with warmth during this holy season. Red is the color of love. Red is the color of hearts joined together by love. But red is also the color of sacrifice, the sacrifice Christ made for each of us. As much as we enjoy the story of Christmas, we cannot leave the baby forever in our manger scene. For the Christ child will grow to become a man of powerful teachings and perform amazing miracles. Then, one day, he will take up a cruel cross to die for us so that we may have eternal life. Now, as we gaze upon the poinsettias, deep crimson red, we pause to reflect on the great love of Christ, the Lamb of God, who sacrificed himself for the sake of us all.
when we truly discover the love of Christ and receive that love into our hearts, a quiet joy lives in us. For all who seek will surely find. All who find will experience great joy. We remember the wise men who followed the star in search of the Christ child. They yearned to find him so they could worship the child. The scripture says, and when they saw the star, they rejoiced with great joy. The image of the star gives us hope. The star encourages our spirits and our hearts as it lights the way to the newborn king. When we come into the presence of Christ, we also rejoice with great joy. We are filled with adoration and celebration as we press forth to worship Christ, the newborn king. <laughs> Star in the east that shines so bright. Rise up, you are. 